Welcome back everybody, it's your boy Mark. For those that follow, you guys know that I love buying sneakers, I like buying them new, but most important, I like buying them used just because there's more profit. Well, now that the holidays are past us and now it's everyone goes back to work, I have recorded a lot of clips of me being at thrift stores, some of them not really purchasing anything just because they didn't have any good stuff, but some clips I did save just because I did find some awesome sneakers, like the one that you're gonna see here. This one right here is the um, Jordans. I think the Jordan 1s. They're like black suede with red, blue. Uh, those were very nice. I bought them for like 15 bucks, but they were going for like 150 plus online. So I went ahead and copped those. Um, I also purchased uh, boxes of board games with, uh, I think it was Lord of the Rings all these different type of board games. However, I grabbed like about five of them or four of them. And then as I was putting them in the cart, I noticed that there was this other board game. It seemed like it was a part of the group, but I just left it behind. It was about an 1870s train game, board game. It has to do with trains and railroads. Uh, I didn't think much of it. So I left it back in the shelves, went to the, um, to the uh, elevator to go upstairs to the second floor to look at the sneakers and I, um, as I was waiting for the elevator I decided to go on my phone and search that 1870s board game and behold that board game is going for like about 130 150 online so what I did is the moment I got to the second floor I didn't even step out I took the elevator back downstairs in the hopes that I'd find it so in the clip you'll see that I am at the uh at the board game section, the toy section, and I saw the board game again, quickly uh, grabbed it and put it in my um, in my cart. Now, there's another clip, and it's from the same trip of the Air Jordans one. Uh, when I had when I went ahead and purchased those Air Jordans at the counter, uh, one of the workers came next to me and asked me, "I know you buy a lot of sneakers. Are you?" interested in buying them in bulk. I remember asking them probably two years ago, but he wasn't around. I asked him if you guys wanted to sell bulk sneakers. They, they said they don't do that type of stuff. They don't sell it in bulk. So I never asked again. But just so recently that day when I bought the Air Jordan 1s, uh, I believe he's the manager. If not, I he's a worker there, but he had pulled strings just because as you'll see in the clip, he asked me, well, you won't see it in the clip, him asking me if I wanted to buy in bulk. But what you do see in the clip is him taking me upstairs to the second floor in the back room where everyone is having their lunch. Uh, it's like the back room where they do like a special inventory. I believe that's where they go, grab the items and then put them into stock. Um, he took me to that room and uh, I felt special in a way because if I, no one's allowed there, especially customers. But I followed him, he took me to that room and there were about four shopping carts. Within those shopping carts, he just said, take a look at what you're interested. I believe I grabbed about 14 pair of sneakers. Within those 14 pair of sneakers, I was expecting to pay about eight to 10 bucks. Um, he just asked, what can you do? I told him, I really don't know. It's up to you how much you wanna sell them for. Well, as you see here in the clip, I purchased all of them. And then he made a deal, he said, why not take all of them for, I think it was less than $70. I think it was like 68, 69 bucks. Um, I said, yeah, we shook hands. Now, mind you, I don't have a GoPro and I definitely need to purchase a GoPro this year. Um, you guys can fund me so I can buy one. No, I'm kidding. I'll definitely purchase one. These are one of the reasons why I wish I had a GoPro because it's quite hard to negotiate with both hands. Um, also, I just don't want people to feel uncomfortable you know me walking around with my cell phone recording everything so i kind of want to have like a gopro on my neck or on my shoulder or somewhere in a strap just so my hands are available and i can talk freely move freely without holding the camera so that is one of the things and those were, that was one perfect moment to have a gopro because it record everything i couldn't have him repeat himself saying how much you want to sell it for here let me just record this i didn't want to make him feel uncomfortable but yeah i got it for a great price and um so i have everything ready meaning i already took my invested my time into cleaning them to make them look pretty and i also took photos of them so you're gonna see them on the screen right here you're gonna see about 
14 players, excuse me, 14 pairs, including the 15th pair, which was the Air Jordan 1s. Because mind you, like I said, I purchased the Air Jordan 1s, the black, red one, uh, separately. And when I finished purchasing, that's when he came up to me and asked me if, he, if I wanted to go upstairs. So overall, I think I spent about a, $85 that day for 15 pairs. Man, that's not bad. Um, so yeah, take a look at all the good stuff there. Uh, and I believe there was another clip there where I sold a baby pair of Nike shoes that came in a tin box. It was two of them. That uh, that I think I purchased about three ninety nine. Now I'm going off top of my top of my head. I think it was three ninety nine for each tin box, and each one had the shoes in there. Um, I sold one right away. The moment I listed, I think within hours or a day, it was sold. The other one I still have in store, but the one that I did sell, I believe the reason why it sold is I think that's the one that had the uh, ticket. It had a receipt from 1988. There was a receipt in that tin box from 1988. That's unbelievable. Because, yeah, that's old school. That's vintage right there. But either way, uh, I hope you guys record, um, enjoyed this video. I'm going to have a lot more videos coming just because I kind of dissect the videos and what's fun and what's there to show instead of just boring me going into thrift stores looking at junk when I kind of just want to focus on the good stuff. Um, the stuff that are vintage and rare. And those are the stuff that I save and record. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.